Hey, hey, from sort of rainy, sort of sunny Portland. All right, Coach Dave Davis, Hillcrest High School, HTV. Why in the world do we do this bus trip anyway? It's great fun, but why? I'm so tired. I'll try to muster an answer. It's only, is this day two, really? Uh, it's just it's just pure journalism. Get off the bus and find a story. That's why I started it back in 09, and this is our fourth one. Yeah, you are a little bit nutty. I had no idea. I mean, this is an undertaking, believe me, to put this many kids on the bus. How many do we have? We have 21 students and seven former students who are the field producers and helpers, so 28 all together. All right, so last night we wind up in Portland. We barely throw our bags in the room and off we go. How long did it take your students to find their first story? Well, first, the first group found a story in five minutes. Now that, you know, you've been doing this a few years. That doesn't always happen. In fact, that doesn't hardly ever happen. And then we had a story uh, fall through about half an hour later, which was kind of typical. Mm -hmm. And that group had to look for two or three hours. And then there was another group that had kind of the usual, you know, 45 minutes, couple, an hour, and they found something. But uh, yeah, first one, five minutes. But I hope next time they have to look, look five hours. We wanted them to get the full journalistic experience. Yeah, I mean, the more stories, of course, they can bring back for HTV is good, and they're posting. So if you go to HTV Magazine on Facebook, where else on Instagram, Twitter? Oh, yeah, we're everywhere. you got to be these days, I guess. Uh, yeah. HTVBuzz.com is our main website where everything will get uploaded first. We will then uh, co-locate it. On the, we'll, we'll let you know on Facebook. Well, and it's fun, too, for the kids because the life lessons, if you will, that they learn, um, they're navigating the train, they're navigating the bus. Um, one of the riders this morning left us a little surprise on the seat. I that was up in your area, some sort of <laughs> pipe that was used possibly for something he shouldn't have been smoking. I don't know. It's all good. I turned it into the driver's lost and found, so maybe the guy will get it back. But you were a true girl scout. Well, I am. You know, it's not my pipe. It's really not my pipe, and I'm somebody wants that seat. Anyway, uh, good luck. We got like nine more days. Nine more days. Heaven help us all. Uh, yes, and we're trying to get breakfast at a place that was uh, recommended by another former student, and he was right apparently. There was like a hundred people in line for breakfast. But, you know, we're game. That's why he and I are over here doing a story. <laughs> what are those kids doing? Over there in line. All right. Good luck. Um, yes. And we'll see you Catch later. on the website. That's right. Whatever. We got a pro along with us, so, you know. Well, you know. Thanks for that. Uh, we'll have more on Ozarks Live coming up in the days to come. We'll see you then.